Hello and welcome, Paula here, and today I am bringing you a look at Black Desert Online. Nabidio is a Korean MMO that is currently being ported over for the Western audience. Now, I'm currently in the closed beta, so you can expect to see a few bugs here and there, a lot of, you know, missing audio for, Trump, uh, for uh, conversation stuff, dialogue. You know, there's still translation issues, that type of thing. But, um, okay. So, before I get going, I'm going to read through a list of features that are available in this game. Or at least available in the Korean version. A lot of it is still being sort of worked on and will be ported over eventually. Such as, you know, different classes and so on. But uh, I'm just going to give you a quick rundown on what's included. So, it is a high fantasy MMO. It's... I'm going to say it's supposed to be a sandbox, but I have a feeling it's more like a, a quasi-sandbox type of deal. I haven't really got that far yet, but from what I've sort of read, that's kind of what it's like. Similar to Arch Age, or Arch Age. Um, okay, so I'm gonna, I've got a list here I'm going to go down. So, it's got mount features. You can tame wild horses, you've got mounted combats various skills for mounts, you can breed horses, uh, have armor, you know, armor pieces, there is an auction system for the horses you breed, and elephants, according to this list here. So, just general other things, there is a trade system, NPC trade system, I think that just means that there's shops, merchants you can buy from, I'm not entirely sure. There is wildlife gathering, so that's looting in the, you know, the world. There is hunting, so you can actually go and hunt I believe it's like a mini game, you can go and hunt animals and skin them and all that good stuff. You know, various gathering stuff like mining, uh, cutting down trees. Uh, there's a, a deep cooking system, I believe. You've got your bug, bug standard crafting as well, you know, armor crafting, weapon crafting, alchemy. Uh, there's medicine, there's a whole bunch of other stuff according to this, but it's not listed here. It has uh, a boat system. I don't think it's on par with Arcage from what I've heard. But um, it is there, so maybe it'll be improved in the future, I do not know. It's got a fishing system, well, fishing mini game. And uh, apparently you can hunt, you can actually hunt fish with spears and crossbows as well. Uh, hidden islands with treasure location, well, with hidden treasure. Naval combat, and again, I don't know how much of this is actually in the game. I'm just reading off a feature list from the Korean version. There's a housing system, instance and non-instances, uh, instance housing, which is always nice. Uh, you know, you can place furniture in there. I believe you can have work workstations and have workers working for you uh, and all sorts. There is a big pet system and you can actually breed pets. Uh, I believe the pets will actually loot for you and give you various buffs. Apparently you could steal from NPCs. There is a whole bunch of different sort of you know, interactions you can do and a few other features. It's got a real time day and night system. I don't know if that means it's on 24 hour cycle. I don't think it would be. It's probably cut down a lot, but um, it's got night and day fluid transitions, it's got a weather system, yeah, it, there's no, it, it's it's all the stuff you expect really from, a, you know, from a game that says it's got a weather system, but apparently this one's quite nice, it will actually have very dark nights and um, you might need to carry a lantern around to actually see, I believe this feature has just been added. Anyway, I'm not going to read through this list anymore because I'm butchering it, I'm going to show you the game. First of all, character creation. Now this is the most nicest looking graphical MMO I've ever seen. I'm not gonna lie. I'd say it's up there with Witcher 3 to be honest. And it's actually pretty smooth considering how the graphics look. So the developers have done a real good job on uh, optimizing this. Now I'm just gonna have a, a quick look through the classes. You've got your warrior here. They use a sword and shield as their main weapons so I'm just reading down here 
I, I don't know if they can use like two handers or anything like that, or if you're stuck with a sword and shield, I do not know. I imagine you can switch it up. You've got the Ranger class, and I want to point out, unfortunately, all of these classes are gender locked. The only thing I'd say is that eventually, when they add in the rest of the Korean classes, which aren't listed here, each, each role tends to have its own uh, gender counterpart, so... For instance... We got sorcerer here, and then you've got the the male version, which is the wizard. So it's got that type of thing. Anyway, this is the ranger. Sorcerer. Berserker, and I want to point out this dude is literally a giant. Tamer. And Gandalf the Wizard. I swear they did that on purpose. Now, I want to point out that when you create a character, there is tons of stuff you can do here. There's uh, constellations that... I don't really know what it does, but it says down here it gives you these different traits, I guess. But I don't really know how useful it is. And... You can actually... I just, want to show, I just want to show you this. This was definitely based on Gandalf. I mean... I mean... Come on. Come on. Let's get a Gandalf. Anyway. Anyway. The character customization in this game is very deep. It is very deep. There is a lot of different options. Oh, God. The hair's kind of weird but yeah there you go a lot of different options for hair you can then go and change like the length of it the curls that type of thing um hair colors there's a ton of face options as well skin you know different face types different skin types facial hair and then there's actually you know beards you can pick to change the color you know, different eyebrows, moustaches. Yeah. Okay. He's he's not looking too well. Okay. Um. Again, face shape. I'm mean, I'm not gonna go for all these options now because I will do a video in the future, and I will basically go in great detail on uh, the character creation system and show you all the options. That's probably gonna be my next video. So, sort of keep an eye out for that. As you can see here, there's all sorts of different little details you could do just for the eyes as well, so... And there's tattoos here... ...that you can get. Add some more wrinkles, and there's standby expression where you can basically give your character an expression. <laughs> and uh, I hear a lot like that in-game. So... <laughs> So yeah. So you know. And then you can change the weight of the expression. So yeah, the character creation is pretty deep. And again, I'm not gonna go through it. God he looks fabulous. But um I wanna point out though, when you make a character, you'll have to pick a family name. Very similar to the uh legacy system in Star Wars The Old Republic. You pick a family name and then that family name share between all your characters. So... Now, I want to point something out. If you do get on this and play, if you try to delete a character... It will actually have a cooldown before it will be de deleted, so... You'll have to wait like a full day. Full 24 hours by the look of it. So... Heads up with that, so if you're an idiot like me, and you misspell your name, then, uh, yeah. Anyway, enough of that, I'm just going to jump on, on this character that I've already made. And I'm just going to have a run around and show you what the game looks like. Now, it looks like it's just going night time. So... Now, because I'm recording and my computer isn't the best... I'm not recording in 60 FPS, so I do apologize for that, but um, my frame rates drop when I record, so I had to turn the, you know, 
I've got my graphics at max pretty well, minus a couple of annoying things like motion blur and so on. But I've turned, uh, I'm recording at 30 FPS, so heads up for that. And I am getting about 30 frames in game, and this is just because, you know, I'm recording and, uh, yeah. It drops my frames quite a bit. Anyway. <laughs> it's going nighttime here and it's actually pretty dark, and one thing I want to point out, in case anyone else gets on here, is that... In the settings, I just want to show you my character's face, there you go. I mean, he looks pretty cool in game, like, the detail tran transfers over. Anyway, um, in the settings, if I can find it. So by default, you're going to have this photo filter on, as you can see here. It makes my character look very orange, and then that's on by default, it's vibrance, it says. And there's a whole bunch of different photo filters you can actually have on, which is kind of cool. But, um, I've just been setting mine to none and leaving it there. So heads up on that in case you get on and think, man, this game looks a bit weird. Taking that off is quite useful. What's this? What? Okay. I did not know I could crawl. <laughs> did not know I could crawl. Okay. Can I point something out as well? Um, hang on. Oh god. Oh Christ. I, I, I am... There we go. Alright. So, one thing I want to point out is that you can run into NPCs and players. See that? I mean, it's just a, a cool little feature, but what got me was while I was tabbed out doing stuff, my character was just standing in the center of the road, and the amount of players running by like this and just running straight into my character and just giving me a bit of a whack like that was non-stop, which was kind of funny. Some people must be doing it on purpose. Anyway, uh, before I go, I want to quickly see if there's a, a vendor somewhere, because... One thing they've added recently that I read before the closed beta started was that they added darker nights and the nights are supposed to be very dark to the point you could do with walking around with a lantern. To me that sounds freaking awesome so I really want to check that out. Um, the UI is a bit, a bit hit and miss, I mean it's typical weird, you know, Korean UI but it's not too bad. Is there any lanterns anywhere? So I want to grab this before I leave. But yeah, as you can see, I mean, the game looks fantastic. I'm surprised at that for a, you know, just a freaking MMO, you know. Okay, I don't see a lantern. I don't know where to get one. Hopefully I can finish this video before it goes too dark. But roaming around in the dock sounds like it could be fun. Now, as I said, there are different counterparts for classes. Uh, I know there's classes like the Valkyrie or Ninja that have not been added yet, and there's a whole bunch, so... Just a heads up on that. I am thinking that's an auction house. I honestly don't know. Okay, here we go. General Goods Vendor, that's what I wanted. So I'm going to say, I, I love MMOs. MMOs are my thing. I'm all about MMOs. Okay, we've got a lantern here. Do I need to buy oil? Because I heard that when the lantern runs out, you can't use it. So I'm just going to buy a few of them. Okay, it's quite equipped. There's probably a way to sort of pull it out, but no. I know that you can physically carry it, or I assumed that you could physically carry it. I don't really see how to bring that up. First mount you get is a little donkey like this, I believe, but uh, you have to do the tutorial, which I haven't really done yet. Let's run out of here and go do some stuff. Anyway, I'll keep the lantern on so you guys can see a bit better.
There's a ton of people here. Excuse me, sorry. 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 Okay, there we go. Now, I don't actually know how well this is going to go because I've been hearing people complain about it's kind of overcrowded here. See, I don't have the stuff to do that. Alright, there we go. Giant beetle, that's off thing. It's got an action combat system. Oh, and I've just actually obtained a point. Okay. Young tree spirit. Get some! There we go, we killed it. Now, every time you kill something, you'll gain knowledge. If you kill it for the first time, you'll gain knowledge. And I have a feeling the more you kill it, the more knowledge you get. I don't know what that does exactly. Maybe you get better damage against them. I don't know. Oh god, Grey Boar. Run! Maybe these gods will help me, all these people. He's a god. So one thing I don't understand is that you see my health bar just above my head going down, the yellow one. But this thing's just getting darker, like it's... There we go. So once you kill something, you can harvest it, but again, I've got no materials to do that. Um, you get little prompts up here telling you about stuff, and I've actually got some skill points here. Let's have a look. Um, blah, blah, blah. Heavy strike. Want to learn that. That was all my skill points, okay. So heavy strike said it would be both mouse buttons. Sweet. So yeah, the combat is very cool. It's a very nice action... Uh, action system. There we go. Effed him up. God damn. I'm just curious here. My health's kind of low. Oh, I've got my guard up. That's neat. But if I sit down... Do I gain my health back? No, I'm not even sitting. Okay. Not to worry. So yeah, it's a bit overcrowded here. Everyone's trying to kill imps and all sorts. I'm just going to run around and explore. I mean, you've seen the combat very briefly. I'll be doing more videos on this game to give you a better idea of what it's all about. But right now, I've literally only been on this game for about... 15 minutes now, just running around. As far as I know, there's no instances, there's no loading, uh, you know, loading stuff. Nice. Like, first thing I did was that I saw a mountain in the distance and climbed up it. Like, that mountain there, let's go to it. Let's go to it. That's always one of the best, the best sort of uh, tests to do when you get into a game. Is look for something in the distance and see if you can get to it. Now this game is, I don't know, I, I'm, I'm worried because I'm worried about getting too hyped for it. I say that in the sense that I was obsessed with Arcage when it came out. The game's fantastic. Unfortunately, it was just mishandled, you know what I mean? Between Tryon and uh, XL Games. More, mostly XL Games. I don't really blame Tryon. You know, you can only do... I mean, if you're trying to be a publisher for someone and they're telling you what to do, you can only really listen to them, or otherwise you get your contract pulled, so... I don't blame them fully. Okay, look. Imp Soldiers. I kill him. Oh yeah, here we go. Oh, everyone's complaining about lots of jumps here. There we go. He's down. He has to be fairly close for this to work. Oh, 
Oh damn, look at that. At 10 o'clock, the monsters become more furious, their action points will increase, but they'll give more XP. That's kind of neat. Oh, it's just become 10 o'clock. From what I've heard in the Korean version, the game is fairly grindy. But, um, yeah. I don't know if that's going to be balanced more for Western audiences, who knows. All the information I've gotten about this game has come from people who've played the Korean version with like an English patch. So, the game's going to be vastly different. At least, you'd expect it to be. Anyway, that's enough killing these guys. We're going to make our way over here. See if we can climb this mountain. It's getting darker and darker and darker. It's actually getting quite dark. I just want to check my hotkeys just to see if there's a something to bring out my lantern. Nope, don't see it. Okay. I did see... No, there was supposed to be some store buttons, but... I would swim underwater, but I can't at the moment. It's a bit shallow, but you can swim underwater. Anyway, before we climb up here, I'm going to quickly go through some of these menus. So, now this is part of the story. You've got this black spirit that basically gives you quests. <laughs> I have no clue why it's there, what it does, but hey, it's cool. I like having a, a black spirit in me. That's that's uh, neat. Anyway. Game menu, there we go. A lot of different options here. Crafting, there's a big die system. Oh, these are crafted notes, okay. Yeah, the die system's in here, guild system. You can actually make a small clan or a big guild, so if you've got a few friends you want to do play with, you know. Um, there's all sorts here, really. But um, I want to actually want to check out workers list. Okay, so you can basically hire workers to build stuff for you, I believe. It's getting very dark, in fact, and I don't know if this lantern's even on. Okay, there's my... There's my character, and apparently stuff shared between characters as well. So... You can share, like, equipment and stuff. I'm not entirely sure how, but I believe it's possible. Where's my equipment button? Oh Christ. There is an equipment button somewhere. Okay, press all the buttons, here we go. Production activity. So you can like, process nodes and stuff like that by the look of it and dry things. Seems cool. Here we go, equipment. Of course it's the I button, why didn't I do that in the first place? So, got my lantern here. I guess it's on, it's just a very bloody... Oh, you can open and close a visor on your helmet if you've got one, that's cool. Hide accessories. So, there's different accessories there. There's um, uh, inven uh, inventory for your mounts. You've got your cosmetic outfit here, like your costume pieces. Then you've got your actual gear in the the outer ring. As I said, there's trading, and there's actually like, you know, horse and cart trading, where you take stuff around. I don't know how similar that is to, let's say, Arcage, but... I've seen like a horse and cart going around, it looks pretty damn cool, so... I'm interested to try that eventually. We're currently climbing up this mountain. It's getting very dark out here, Jesus. Can we climb this? Go on. 
Go on and roll. Climb. There you go. I knew you were better than your brother Angrel. Okay. So, I want to say look at that view, but it's so bloody dark you can't see anything. Now, there are supposed to be big storms in this game. Like at night and you have a storm, it makes it very hard to see. But also typhoons I read about that can affect the game. So that sounds awesome. I want to see that. These things will kill me if I just stick around. So I'm going to just keep running. But we've literally just ran off and climbed this hill, which is cool. There's something down there. A little bit of an outpost. Okay, now this seems to be after me. So yeah. This is a quick look at the closed beta for Black Desert Online. I'm going to do more videos because there's too much in this game to go over and I just don't have the knowledge at the moment. So I've given you a bit of a rundown. What are these people? Oh my god, slave labor. Yeah. So is this like slave labor or is it just like paid labor? I'm not sure. Looks like slave labor. A lot of NPCs though. And you can just like... Sorry. 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 So what's up here? Safe zone has been entered. Okay, cool. Let's see if we can just get up to the top before we wrap this up. And I know we can't see much because it's so late. Neat. God damn, look how many NPCs are here. What I will say about this game, and I saw it in one of the first videos i ever seen, they make the places feel like they're alive. There's actually NPCs all over the place doing stuff. So... Yeah, let's help out. Oh no, I'm gonna die. I'm dead. Okay. Well, if you die, that's fine. You can resurrect at the closest village or at the closest node. And... We're gonna unlock it, of course. The XP decreases a little bit. But, um, yeah. So yeah, this this was Black Desert Online. It's it's interesting. I'm going to be doing more videos on it. My next video is going to be a full look at the character creation system. I'm loving these Dark Knights though. Not enough games have Dark Knights where you've got to you know get lighting so you can actually see what you're doing. It sounds annoying, but I don't know. I like it. I like it. Sorry. Uh, anyway, that's it for now. Thank you for watching. Join me next time. Until then. Oh, and I'm probably going to delete this character to say goodbye to Amaral. He's going to be put down.